Hi friends, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. So this is part 3 of SQL Server Tips and Tricks. Today's session is on query shortcuts in SSMS, which means you can customize your SQL commands. So in query shortcuts, so to create a query shortcut in SSMS, we should follow below path. First one is go to tools, select options, go to environment and then click on the keyboard options and then choose query shortcuts right and then you can write your custom queries and assign the shortcuts to them right and in today's session we'll see sp underscore help text and select top 10 from a table and select count of star from a table Let's see how to create a query shortcut and assign a keyboard shortcut to that, right? So let's flip back to the SMS. So as you see here, we have a table here, table employee, so which is having 11 rows. And we have a view called view underscore employee. Let's see how to assign the shortcut sp underscore help. For example, if I if I write sp underscore help text and the object name, it will give me the definition of this particular view. So this is the view definition. So it is selecting a couple of columns from the table employee table, right? So let's see how to assign this shortcut sp underscore help text, right? I'm copying this sp underscore help text. For that, go to tools go to options now under environments go to keyboard and click on the query shortcuts here right so there are three default shortcuts one is sp underscore help which is alt f1 and sp underscore who control plus one and sp underscore lock control plus two so rest of the shortcuts we can assign so we can use the control plus six control plus seven etc so to do that we will assign control plus three as sp underscore help text right similarly we will we will add a couple more shortcuts select star select top 10 star from which means it is going to select top 10 rows from a table or view. Now here I want to get count of one. So to get the rows of a table, I'm assigning control plus five here. So control plus three, control plus four and control plus five. And let's assign one more SP underscore depends as well. You can choose your own query or command, right? So click OK. So what I did, I went to the options and under environments, go to keyboard, keyboard shortcut and assign the your queries, right? And click OK. That's it. So this we have given control plus three. Similarly, we have given control plus four here. Control plus five here. Control plus five, control plus six, right? Let's execute this. Now I'm selecting this and clicking on control plus three. So that would give me the definition of the view. So either you use this one, SP help text or you use the keyboard shortcut that is control three, which we have assigned Let's check the next one, the select top 10 star from a table or a view. Here I'm selecting a from a view. So select top 10 star from a view. Control plus four is the shortcut for select top 10 star from, right? So I, if I select this, select top 10 star from this table, or if I select this and click on control plus four, it gives the same result, right? 
next thing is the select count of star from a table or a view so here when I select this and click on ctrl plus 5 it gives the count of the table or a view now the last one which we have assigned is SP depends that to ctrl plus 6 the last one we have assigned is SP depends to ctrl plus 6 so select the object and click on ctrl plus 6 it gives the SP depends rela related result right this is how we have to assign the query shortcut and sometimes you have you may have to restart the SSMS in order to get these shortcuts activated thank you all thank you for listening have a great day